That's the intro, Phelan. Wow. That's so Halloween y. <laughs> it's too spooky. Well, I mean, this is probably the best one we've watched out of this rewind so far, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hey, are you a good witch or a bad witch? I'm going to be a very good witch from now on. So this is uh, the Charmed Rewind uh, Halloween special, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the category was Happy Halloween, <laughs> Halliwells. <laughs> Um, it was a real easy poll to do. They did two episodes. Out of eight seasons of Charmed, only two episodes were related to Halloween. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> do you even remember? Do you remember the other one? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, it, it was between the one that won All Halliwell's Eve mm -hmm. and uh, season eight. So it took them between season three and eight to do another one. <laughs> uh, Kill Billy Volume One. <laughs> Which was only tangentially, like, Halloween-related. It's pathetic that a show about witches yeah. just had so little to do and everyone's with probably Halloween. Like, yeah, Billy, I'm not voting for that. <laughs> Would you? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> okay, I don't really have a problem with Billy. I talked about it in the uh, the Charmed um, videos, but, uh, but, I mean, that season's so dog shit. Compa right. I mean, like... <laughs> Yeah, but you know who hates time travel? Piper. I hate time travel. Speaking of the last season of Charmed. God. Piper's big time travel misadventure series finale. And so does the audience. Ugh, I hate when Charm does time travel, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we get too deep into this episode, uh, got some news here, a couple pieces of news in the Charmed world. Charmed is cancelled. Charmed's cancelled forever, <laughs> sorry. Uh, season 8 was the last, it appears. <laughs> I don't think they're coming back. Well, the comics, maybe. Mm. <laughs> They've confirmed on Twitter the hiatus is no longer a hiatus. Because <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Um, so we're available on audio now, like a real podcast. <laughs> I uh, I put the uh, the podcast up on um, Anchor FM. I uh, know we've been taken off. Oh, sorry, they deleted us. <laughs> They're like, this is too stupid. We can't even for a free platform. You can't yeah, put it no. on here. <laughs> They're talking about Charmed. This is terrible. <laughs> I have it under Charmed Rewind right now, but I'll change it back to Charmed Hard with a Vengeance in a week because that's when the new Charmed is starting, uh, the new season of the the remake. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check it out, uh, we've been approved for uh, Spotify and what other ones are on here? There's a few. It's not everything yet. They haven't approved the iTunes one yet. They're like, mm, we don't know if this is up to snuff, mm, uh, which is fair enough. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Okay, so you can listen to this on uh, Anchor, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, and Radio Public. Mm -hmm. So I think that's pretty cool, looking on Spotify, and look, there's our dumb show. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, pretty good news for people who uh, who like to listen to this in the background or want to listen to it on a car ride or whatever. That's available now, and uh, if you listen to us on any of those platforms, spread the word. Uh, give us some good ratings. I don't know. Do they have ratings on Google Podcasts? Probably has ratings, right? I don't know. <laughs> if there's an option, give us two <laughs> thumbs down. So, um... <laughs> this is the worst podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the. the... The last rated uh, charm podcast ever. <laughs> if if people at gunpoint had a choice between our podcast and nothing, they'd choose nothing. Yeah. Yeah, this just in charmed rewind is canceled. <laughs> the hiatus no longer a hiatus. <laughs> we're done. That's the spookiest part about this episode. <laughs> hey, we were back from the dead for Halloween. <laughs> So, uh, what, one of the other pieces of news is, of course, uh, Season 2 of Charmed, the, the the Electric Boogaloo, Charmed 2. Season 2 of Charmed 2 is coming out, mm. <laughs> and uh, they dropped a trailer for it. This is uh, premiering the 11th, 
Uh, I've seen the trailer, but you haven't, Phelan. No. So I'm I'm gonna bring this up here. Everyone loves the sound of me typing. Mm. All right, Phelan. Uh, we don't have to keep this live reaction in here, but I I would like to send you this trailer so you can watch it and get your fresh perspective on. All of the cool stuff <laughs> that I, we see in this trailer. What if I had ruined this and watched it without telling you? <laughs> well, then this bit would be just awful and our podcast would just go down the shitter. Alright. <laughs> oh, turn this on now. Alright. Uh, they're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> to, here's to forgetting season one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, who's here? Kool-Aid man? A lot of doors getting knocked over. <laughs> oh, there's a war going on. Uh, Charmed is controlled by five demon families. <laughs> Here's to forgetting this current season two. Oops. <laughs> Here's to our swift cancellation. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't leave much of an impression on me. <laughs> Balin, don't you like how they're like, there's war coming, girls, and you're not going to see what's coming. <laughs> the cancel demons come after you. It's kicking down your door. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here's to replacing our doors. <laughs> I, I got serious, like, supernatural vibes from it, and I don't mean that in a good way. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, bad yeah. supernatural vibes. I'm imagining they're going to go down that newfound basement of their place and mope a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard there's supposed to be, we talked about this before, a, a new creative direction mm -hmm. uh, that they're doing with the series. More focus on uh, the supernatural elements of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, if they could do some cool Monster of the Week stuff, that'd be fine, but I don't. I mean, not much, huh? Yeah. I'm hoping, I heard there was a... Hmm? I'm hoping for the ghost of Galvin to haunt them. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do it like that season of Allie McBeal where her lawyer boyfriend is just a ghost. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, uh, I heard that they added a, a new handsome boy to the cast. Oh boy. As, get this... Yeah. Oh boy, a handsome boy. Yeah. Oh, handsome boy. <laughs> and he, uh, uh, his character is described as a um, lawyer slash amateur boxer. Mm. So uh, the this strong Allie McBeal vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's they're like well, we're gonna do Cole again. Parker was a mistake. He was the we we went out and shot him in the backyard and he's done. So we, how about we try it again with, with this man? See how this turns out. He gets a knockout in the courtroom. Ding ding ding. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> yes. They're probably gonna make uh. that dumb joke. <laughs> Well, didn't we? We joked about Parker being a lawyer. We called him the Sorora lawyer. <laughs> this will be the true Sorora lawyer. <laughs> All right, enough about that bullshit. Let's talk about the OG bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no one cares about the new stuff. <laughs> this uh, this one won by a landslide. All Halliwell's Eve. We are going back to the sewers. What episode was it? Back to the sewers. Um. Season three, episode four. So we are back in prude. Ugh, I got I got phlegm in my throat. <laughs> We're back in prude territory. <laughs> Personally, I am offended by the representation of witches in popular culture. This is their most Halloweenish episode. The other one, not very much, but this one is like a uh, you know very Halloween a proper centered. Halloween special. Yeah, it's good they did at least one. <laughs> Complete with like a bunch of like sitcom wipes. Yeah, that was and really it was weird. odd choice. <laughs> Dad, there are other wipes besides star wipes. Why eat hamburger when you can have steak? It was strange how they filmed this one. It seemed different than they usually did. Mm. I don't remember them doing so many wipes, and it seemed very yeah, like yeah, flip transitions. 
This episode obviously takes place on Halloween, so in the very first scene we get to see everyone in their costumes. Leo is very originally dressed in his old World War II uniform, mm-hmm. so he just kept that around. Yeah, and Daryl is dressed uh, in his rookie uniform. <laughs> like From my rookie days. What? Yeah, and Leo <laughs> pops in and says, me too. And like, this is apparently the first time like Daryl's really meeting Leo. So he's like, what? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? He says this like five times in the episode uh-huh. and it never leads anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think Who like- Who are you? I'm a cop. <laughs> I think this is very shortly after he found out that they were witches, Mm. uh, because he seems kind of like this is all new to him. And I don't remember exactly when this happened, but I know it took a while Mm -hmm. for him to learn. And I guess he just he just never knew about what Leo was. He was just some guy. Yeah. If he ever met him. They apparently didn't want to explain Leo to him yet or much of anything. He's like he's partly in the know. So he's like, oh, this is my first time seeing this type of demon. Time to write it down in my journal. First demons I've ever seen. Actually, except for that blonde with the funky snake tongue thingy. (laughs) I do want to know. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, he's very, like, he cares about them still at this point. Like, they haven't beaten any goodwill out of him yet. (laughs) Yeah, they haven't, um, they haven't murdered him and stolen his soul without his permission. (laughs) So things are still pretty good between them at this point. We had him sent to death row and (laughs) stuff. Poor dumb Daryl doesn't know what's coming. (laughs) So yeah, he still likes them. What a... (laughs) What a lame costume, though. He's like, I'm going to dress up, like, from my rookie days. Yeah. My I, old uniform. I'm glad that Leo s- somewhere, like, stored his old World War II costume. <laughs> or costume. Yeah, his uniform away somewhere. Like, <laughs> Yeah, he keeps all of his things from when he was alive. Yeah. I, s- I don't really understand the Leo, like, alive, dead, undead thing. Like, he's a zombie or something. Because they frequently refer to him as dead. And I think in this episode they do, too. Maybe, but um, but clearly he can be killed because like the 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 Grimlocks attack him in this, and yeah. like he he can be can killed injured. and procreate, so it seems like he's revived. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. But anyway, the um, the girls are also in costumes of uh variage vari- variage various cleavage levels mm-hmm. variage variage um. <laughs> Piper is hilariously dressed up like the good witch from Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and she <laughs> she says something like, oh, I've got like a new attitude. Spoilers, it's the same attitude. <laughs> <laughs> and you picked a role model who wears lots and lots of pink. Yes. She's uh she's dreaming about um throwing asbestos onto child actors. <laughs> 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 this warms her heart. <laughs> <laughs> it warms my cold heart into Leo chunklets. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then Daryl's like, "Who are you? <laughs> what did you do? What the? How'd what? You, how'd you put him into chunklets? What is he? What? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, sh- Daryl wave. <laughs> Hanging out with the Grimlocks." <laughs> This is by far the most in-jokey we've been in a while. I don't know how yeah. much of this people are going to get. <laughs> um, so Prue is some sort of butterfly lady? She just she just has, like, a black dress and some butterflies? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so if, if this is specifically referencing something, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. She's just a butterfly lady. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, glitter, blutter, butter, butterfly. Blutter. Um, <laughs> I can't speak tonight at all. Uh, and then Phoebe appears to be El- some sort of Elvira witch. Yeah, I th- figured it was Elvira, and she goes like, "This is a statement against <laughs> like these things or something." Like what? This costume happens to be a protest statement. I am so impressed that you can make a protest statement and show cleavage all at the same time. She's protesting like stereotypes against witches like she holds up this sign that's got like you know a witch with warts and a pointy hat and mm. this is a stereotype it wouldn't have happened if women were allowed to breastfeed in public 
Yeah, she's really making a, a statement about sexy witches. Yeah, I like Prue is even like, I, I'm glad that you're making a statement, but you still managed to have like so much cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, at this point in the show, I feel like her doing these protests and stuff like that is a bit like Britta and Community, mm -hmm. you know, where it's like she's kind of the worst, but that's part of her character. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's humorous. Phoebe's the worst. <laughs> Phoebe's the worst. <laughs> you, <laughs> when I first came here, I thought you were so much smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Phoebe cast that smart spell on herself. She is sort of dumb and the worst, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst. Combine <laughs> that's a callback my... to, yeah. <laughs> to the charmed uh, the remake. They had the Jean Ralphio villain. Yeah. <laughs> Phoebe has invited Cole along to their trick-or-treat shenanigans. I don't know. I guess they're going to P3 to have a Halloween party. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they don't like this. They don't like her boyfriend. Um, I don't think they know he's a demon yet. No, they, they don't. They just think he's a lawyer boyfriend. Yeah, that's all they think he is right now. Right, because they certainly don't know he's evil, because he's uh, sneaking around this whole episode, and they don't know that he's behind the various things happening. Mm -hmm. um, secondary to him, we have uh, the return of these villains from, like, season one. <laughs> Me Grimlock Hot kick butt! <laughs> Me Grimlock confusing! <laughs> Don't know what my powers are! Me Grimlock choke you through your eyes! Choke goodness! <laughs> Very <I> stupid <laughs> it is! I want to say that episode. I want to say it was like, um, the plot of it was they were almost exposed. Like, there's a reporter who takes a picture or a video of Piper freezing something, and then they gotta go rescue these kids <laughs> who are being kidnapped and blinded by these Grimlocks, and they do sort of a refresher here. I'm just imagining that. Like, she's frozen something, someone takes a picture. Look! She froze things! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the camera was just as dumb because it's just a jump cut. It's like, oh, that couldn't be edited. Oh, how magic! Exposed! Yeah. <laughs> magic exposed. Um, <laughs> and she's looking just fine. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the the masked charmed one reveals all the secrets. Everyone hates the charmed ones for that special. Get out of here, Mitch Pelagi. <laughs> Phelan, can you vaguely explain what the Grimlock's powers are supposed to be? They choke the goodness out of you through your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they they like blind People, mostly children, but I guess it can be anyone. Well, Maybe it's Daryl's people with childlike child minds. Or, heart, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a kid! <laughs> yeah, so um, they blind people so they can see the aura and then suck their yeah. goodness out of them. Yeah, but <laughs> like, I don't think that child they choke at the beginning gets blinded. Like, it's really funny. There's just the part where the Grimlocks are doofing around while kids are trick or treating, <laughs> and the kid walks over and he's like, "Yeah, cool costumes, guys!" They're oh, choke, and they just choke him for a while until Cole <laughs> comes over. He's like, "What are you guys doing here, you idiots? <laughs> I'm supposed to be working this turf. Get off my block!" <laughs> The, the kids, his eyes started to like milk over, but they didn't. They didn't get him before he but like. They got were away. doing like, that way longer than they did to Daryl, and then he was blinded oh, sure. later. <laughs> this kid, like he, he's like the quintessential annoying little child with blonde hair and big teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. <laughs> wow, cool costume. Yeah. And then like you just, you just want to see the life choked <laughs> out of him. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It was so funny heroes. how long he's there getting choked. <laughs> and then he just runs away like, that was weird, boy! Yeah. <laughs> I'll never compliment costumes again! <laughs> oh, bug! His glove is spelled backwards! Um, <laughs> for the people who, uh, 
remember the Grimlocks original episode. Everyone was clamoring for them to come back. They're like, <laughs> where are the Grimlocks? But they'll remember the ultimate disappointment at the end of their original episode because they were killed. <sighs> they were vanquished. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Cole explains this. You know, He's like, hey, didn't, didn't they already yeah. get you like two years ago? Aren't and- you guys dead? <laughs> Hey, who brought my Grimlocks back from the dead? (laughs) Um, And then they say, like, oh, well, because it's Halloween, the the veil between the worlds are thin, Mm -hmm. and the demons that know how can get out. Uh, So anyone can come back. Yeah. And haunt Halloween. And, like, it's confusing, like, what the rules are about this. Like, so are they, like, technically alive again, but... It's harder to kill them on Halloween or just they say at one point, like, we're already dead. So it's just like, well, what, what does yeah, this well, mean? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> they get thrown around and they're like, good thing we're already dead, implying they can't be killed. But then they're like, we can't absorb any more wounds, yeah. which means they can be killed. Uh-huh. Like Daryl just shoots them. And they act like yeah. they say, "Good thing it's Halloween," or we like, "Good thing it's Halloween," or that might have killed us, or something. It's just like, what? They could just be shot in that season one episode. The the charmed ones could just pull out a gun and yeah. shoot. Forget the power of three, the power of a of a pistol. Yeah, <laughs> like apparently, them. yeah, it's only Halloween that stopped them from dying from that. So yeah, that whole episode could have been solved by Daryl just showing up and going, "Hey, <laughs> dead." <laughs> <laughs> Real dog it <laughs> situation there. Hey! <laughs> I don't get, like, do they go back to hell after Halloween or do they just get a stay? Yeah, that's what I don't know. <laughs> it's like, are they technically back or just they get to try and take revenge on Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. And, and, like, so, I don't know. Cole just comes over to just. Sup, buddies? Anyway, bye. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with me. And he leaves, and they're like, I've always hated that demon. Nice costume, though. (laughs) Like, his lawyer costume? Yeah. Yeah. His Uh, human costume? I think that Cole even cares, because he, like, shows up like, hey, I'm working this block or whatever. You guys are in my territory. But his plan is back in time anyway. So... What does it matter that they're doing right now? I don't know why no. he even cared that they're he- around. <laughs> it just seemed like so small potatoes. Like, why does he bother with these little, like, piss ants uh-huh. <laughs> that are just choking out kids? They seem like the bottom of the demon rung. But apparently they're so powerful that they know how to get out of hell. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of other demons they vanquish that seem far more threatening that that couldn't figure it out. You know what they look? They just look like William Sadler's death in Bill and Ted's bogus journey. I was just thinking of that, yeah. <laughs> you have sank my battleship. Excellent! Yeah! So, uh, cut back to the house, and Leo is uh, hanging out with Daryl, and he's like, Oh no. <laughs> Beja. <laughs> Beta. <laughs> uh, and he runs into the other room where the girls are and apparently he could sense I don't know why I guess because this had to do with the elders he could sense that a portal was going to open up behind them and suck them through mm, yeah yeah. the elders gave him the heads up apparently I hear a couple minute warning we're gonna suck the charmed ones into a time portal <laughs> <laughs> they, they go through they, they go through this portal wigs snatched yeah, this made no sense to me. It's like, okay, they get to keep their the rest of their Halloween costumes, but not the wigs. I'm like, what? And so the the rule here is wigs can't go back in time, but that's a total lie because later we see Cole and he's got his old long hair wig on. I'm like, why can Cole we travel we in can't time? Confirm, we can't confirm uh, that that is a wig or if he magically grew his hair. Or, <laughs> or he went to the Maybe. ye old wig store <laughs> back in time. <laughs> What the wig, please? <laughs> yeah. One wig. <laughs> it cost one shilling. <laughs> really this inconsistent. Whole episode. <laughs> and like the first guy we see too back in time, like he's all wigged up too. I'm like, so this is just unfair. Like, why didn't they get to keep their wigs? Everyone else here is wearing a wig pretty much. <laughs> I don't know why the this charmed ones episode. couldn't have theirs. <laughs> 
this whole episode wigging out. <laughs> yes. They go back in time to 1690, bad wigs aplenty. Everyone's in terrible wigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they should have kept their bad wigs on them because they were worse than the, the bad wigs everyone else had. Like, they're slightly less bad than the costume wigs. It would have made it look a little more authentic, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, they drop into, like, the middle of a witch search. Apparently. Yeah. Like, everyone's like, a witch, a witch, go get the witch! So it's like the, the elders are trying to get them killed, right? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I don't... I, like, the know. elders could they choose, must know right? About, the they must know about this rule that, like, that we learn... I think this is the first time it's established. No, no, they, um... I think they do in that 70s episode. Whatever. There's a rule about if they time travel, if it's before they exist, then they can't use their powers because they don't exist yeah, during this time. Yeah. So the elders must know that they're helpless. This is That's such a sloppy explanation. Though. Like They say, like, yeah, because we don't exist in this time, neither do our powers. But like, you, if you're following that logic, they can't exist at all. And you're just saying time travel can't work. But... You know, Actually, I think it didn't. I think it didn't work in that '70s episode either. Even though they they existed as children, but I guess as adults they didn't exist there either. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't use their powers. Something like that. Yeah, I, don't know. I think that one was a weird one. It doesn't make much sense. What year is it now? 1670. Oh, how can you not know about All Hallows Eve? It isn't what it used to be. I'm pretty sure, like, <laughs> Piper uses magic when she does her big time travel adventure at the end of the show. Oh, sure. But, I mean, like, who the fuck knows what the rules were then? Yeah. <laughs> Everything was tossed out yeah, the window. they changed the rules all the time. But it's like, okay, so they can't use powers because they don't exist. Which is why Cole can't use powers because he doesn't exist in the... Oh, wait, no, he's using powers all over the place. <laughs> He's like, he, he can time travel too, but he, it, they apparently just act like he can just do this as like a lower level demon. But like not even the source of all evil can time travel with, with their rules. They had like Tempest mm -hmm. had to come in and do it. And then like the elders, I don't think, are supposed to even have time travel power. Apparently the, the most powerful things in the world are lawyer demon and cupids with their rings. <laughs> a apparently. Yeah, the elders can't accept when they want to banish the Charmed Ones to a time portal. <laughs> they did send them back in time, but I swear that there was one where they said they couldn't time travel. It probably was. Like, it might have been the one where they kill Andy off, I'm not sure. Mm. Either way, I'm inconsistent. Yep. <laughs> Don't tell me you've time traveled again. I hate time traveling. You do. I was burned at the stake last time, remember? But as uh, as Piper says, I hate time traveling. Mm -hmm. And she's she's bitching because I've got to get home. I've got decorations to hang and a party to do. Me, 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 me. <laughs> it's a new Piper. <laughs> oh my god! They um they break the rule. Never mention a better episode in your crappy episode. And they they break it when they they're like, yeah, remember when Phoebe was almost burned at the stake last time we time traveled? <laughs> uh, good times. <laughs> they could use their powers then. They were they yeah. they were in their future. Mm -hmm. But they existed, right? <laughs> you want to believe their flimsy logic? <laughs> they do a flip transition uh, to Leo and Daryl. <laughs> yeah, it just had the whoosh sound anytime. Yeah. Man, that was it, the sound effects added made it extra lame. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you know you're going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Daryl is insisting on helping in this situation. Um, You're gonna Leo's need like, a cop because you don't yeah. know what these guys are all about. <laughs> yeah, Leo's like, you don't know what you're up against here. Neither did you. You need a cop. <laughs> this works. Like Leo's like, yeah, yeah, maybe he's right. Maybe I do need yeah. a cop. <laughs> when you don't know what to do in a magical situation, you need a cop. <laughs> <laughs> need a cop. <laughs> um. The Gridlocks, who are, are Grimlocks. The Gridlocks. It's Gridlocks, yeah. <laughs> gridlocks. The Gridlocks. My autocorrect on my notes for Gridlocks. Gridlocks! <laughs> Metro Blue Line! They put this episode at a Gridlock. <laughs> frozen. Um, they are frozen from before, um, but they unfreeze, and Daryl decides he's just going to shoot them. <laughs> Good thing we can't die. Wipe back to the past. 
The girls have been taken uh, blindfolded into the Good Witch Candle Cave. We for- you didn't mention, though, that they got saved by a um, wig man who is like, he's part of the witch hunt, but he's like, uh, no, I didn't find anyone. And him and Prue give each other a look right. and they're like, together, our love will last forever. <laughs> <laughs> the great romance subplot <laughs> with Prue and random old timey dude mm-hmm. <laughs> Micah, who is uh fighting the witch hunters back then by using uh, stealth tactics yeah, to save he's them. He's like, I'm pretending to be one of them so I can help good witches. <laughs> I don't understand. How did you know you could trust him? By the look in his eyes. Oh. Uh-huh. It's a really important part of the episode. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because he's so he's such a well-rounded character is the thing. Yeah, it's a great plot. I think Prue's I think Prue's boyfriends were even less developed than anyone else's. <laughs> the last one we did, like Prue had some romantic subplot and like who gave a shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Random no-name wrestling demon dude. <laughs> Uh, so they've been taken to the Good Witch Candle Cave. Um, they were taken through this, like, hearth of leaves or or vines or whatever that's supposed to detect if there's any evil in them. Yeah, they said, like, if you were evil, you couldn't have come through that. I'm like, well, that thing's broken then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Better take that thing back, get your money back. <laughs> this doorway would have told us if you were evil. Huh, where can we get one of those? We're the most goodest witches in the universe. <laughs> like they're talking about how they're like the the most good witches of all time, and they sent for them. And I guess I don't know. They sent for them, and the elders granted their wish. I don't know. It's it's like they said that they did it, but then the elders did it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they ever say elders once in this episode. They keep just saying like Leo's bosses or them in quotes. Mm. Did they not call them elders yet? I don't know. The timeline of when they dropped the word elder. I thought that was super early on, but maybe not. Uh, it seems strange that they never said it, though. Mm-hmm. It was always so mysterious. Yeah, the big bosses did it. They can do anything, except they can't <laughs> later because they really suck. I don't understand this lady, this like good witch that's there. Um, <laughs> Granny good witch. I, Granny good witch. <laughs> I don't understand why they gave her a wig could they not find a woman with long blonde hair it's impossible (laughs) i can't maybe like you know with the guys like not maybe they didn't have any long-haired guys that they cast they wanted to get more period appropriate hair for them but like this lady just has like a normal ass haircut but it's clearly a wig yeah a lot of people seem too well done up for this time period, too. Especially, like, living in a cave and stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not not exactly period accurate. They put the girls in um in costumes from the time, but they're, like, super cleavage and, like, yeah. Phoebe has no sleeves. It's Fe- like, I don't think, you know. <laughs> yeah, Phoebe's is the most ridiculous for the time period. It's like, why? It's so... They change her out of her Elvira dress into this thing, <laughs> which I still don't believe would be around in this time period. <laughs> and, like, they also do up their hair, which really got me. It's like, they all change their hairstyle in between. It's like, oh, quick, we gotta go save this witch who's been kidnapped, who's giving birth to a baby, but first we all gotta do our hair. Who's gonna deliver the baby? Personally, I think you should, considering we know that you're gonna have one in the future. I second that. <gasps> Wait a minute. I don't understand why they bothered, like, doing this at all. People recognize their faces, so it's not like they're going to blend in. They know they're the witches! Witches! Mm-hmm. Um, so they're, um, they've are they been brought back. The reason that they could do this is because it's All Hallows' Eve, which is the most powerful time for witches. Uh, and they, the good witches, want them, the most powerful, goodest witches in the world, um, to save a baby from an evil witch who ha- is holding the pregnant mom hostage and wants to raise the witch evil. And, and if she does that, then the that toilet. means... Said it to 300. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, without this baby, good witches are like not like it's going to tip the balance, like they're not going to be good witches or something. Right. This- and the girls never question this. They never go like, hey... Who is this baby and why is this why? Mm-hmm. And also, like, if this was going to happen, 
then why do they need that? Is it a self-fulfilling prophecy? Like, if they didn't go back in time and stop it, it never would have happened? No, because Cole went back in time, so I don't think it's supposed to be one of those. Yeah, but the evil witch has her, and then they... Yeah, but Cole went back to get her to do it. Yeah, but she already had him. Oh, did she already know Cole when he showed up? Yeah. I thought they were just meeting them. No, because she already knew Cole. He's like... Ugh. Oh, I see. So he was fucking around in time, and they had to fix right. it. Right. I see. Uh, Piper checks her watch. Mm-hmm. And then, like, to check the time, as if, like, this time is running linearly with their time? Yeah, it's really stupid. <laughs> it's 2 fi- 15. Oh, you've made a big clock so small, you must possess great magic. They don't know that it's 2 o'clock. They don't, I mean, who's to say when they dropped in? Mm-hmm, yeah. Might have nothing to do with whatever time it is there. <laughs> well, uh, they go to get this evil witch, Ruth, um, she has the, the mother holed up in her house. Yeah, she also has like a um, festival going on in her yard or something. Um, that's all. Yeah, they don't have very many places they could shoot in this episode. <laughs> they, they just had a few backyards they could go into. <laughs> then there's like these talismans that they have up like to guard the perimeter. And like the, the witch from the past, like, all right, uh, guys, don't walk into those because they're actually really powerful. And Phoebe's like, yeah, right. Ah! <laughs> hey, guys, watch this. Ah! <laughs> what a dumbass. This is exactly what happens. This is not you making this up or paraphrasing. It's literally like, hey, don't touch those talismans. And she's like, eh, I think in our time, you're not that powerful. And just walks right into it and then... Yeah. Gives them away. Yeah, she even... Everyone else, it turns into like invasion of the body snatchers yeah. and pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Witches! <laughs> Look, it's so stupid. They're running around with their arms up in the air, like, oh, witches, what do I do? Witches! Like, good thing they got these doofuses from the future here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's so. <laughs> That's why Phoebe had to cast a dumb spell on herself, because she's just too dumb to live. Uh, they discover, uh, these people, like, are coming over toward them with, like, guns on their horses, and they're like, let's blast them away. <laughs> Get them. Yeah. <laughs> At Ghostbusters style. Get them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, those don't really pack much of a punch where we come from. No, you don't realize. <laughs> <laughs> Good shooting, Tex. Go get a ray. <laughs> yeah, go get a ray. <laughs> um, but they discover that they don't have any powers, and uh, their witch friend gets shot in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And cut to them. It's funny it seeing well them just... like doing their dumb hand gestures. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's not doing anything. <laughs> It might as well just, like, smash cut to them in the cave. <laughs> and then, like, the witch is sitting there all resentful, like, Yeah. Can, can you just go? <laughs> I didn't realize how badly you sucked. Yeah, blonde witch is like, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Uh, this is when they reveal that Cole is in league with Ruth. He shows up in the shadows in his terrible wig. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm getting uh, Angel and Buffy flashback vibes. Yeah. <laughs> though, it's weird. He didn't do his natural accent, though, right? Because, like, Julian McMahon's... He's not American. He's Australian. Okay. So he could do, like, a convincing, like, old-timey accent, I think, or, like, an English accent. Mm. But he doesn't. He just sticks with his American one. He should have came in like, God blimey, what's all this shit? <laughs> what's all this shit? You got your witch yet? <laughs> I'm gonna cut them witches ear to ear. <laughs> the tale of Coley Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I just love to see Phoebe thrown in a furnace mm-hmm. after it's revealed that she... <laughs> Got his wife killed. It'd be great. Spoilers for Sweeney Todd. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, wiped Daryl and Leo. Uh, they strangle Daryl. Mm-hmm. 
They strangle the goodness out of him, and Leo, who's, a, who's like three feet away, orbs over to help him as if he couldn't just walk. Yeah. And then orbs them downstairs. Yeah, the, just in the kitchens. And they hang out in the kitchen like it's safe from the two Grimlocks. <laughs> like, they're just a couple of rooms above them. All they have to do is come down the stairs and find them. But, like, a bunch of even, time... Like, lock them in. Yeah, like, a bunch of time passes, and these two stupid Grimlocks apparently never found found them in the kitchen and they start like no. cooking in there and stuff it's like did they not even smell the fact they're cooking in there and like no <laughs> they have all the time in the world not not a care at all uh-huh. about what's going on they're chilling out it's not like they're like quick we got to make this potion before they come down or like we put a chair in front of the door to keep them in mm-hmm. Nothing. What are they doing up there though? Are they just sitting down playing a game or like what <laughs> yeah yeah, just, What's happening? She's like, they left the room. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they go? Oh, I can hear them faintly downstairs. No, they couldn't be dumb enough just to teleport downstairs. They're probably far away. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> like they might as well have teleport a couple feet away and they're like, oh, we'll never get them now. We've tried nothing, and we're all out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> they're at home base. <laughs> this is why they're the most powerful enemies they ever faced. <laughs> so, the girls have no powers. They must learn some old-school witch homeopathy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, they're learning about apples, pointy hats, brooms, masks, everything Phoebe protested because it was too cliche. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah. Personally, I am offended by the representation of witches in popular culture. It's really funny, too. Like She tells them about pointy hats, and then right after goes, and then these masks are for disguises, so they won't know who we are. Like, ooh, that's really magical. But if you, like, pair that with the pointy hat, it's not a very good disguise, is it? It's like, I'm not a witch. <laughs> I got a mask in front of my face. Ignore the pointy ooh. hat. <laughs> By the way, they... They present... They, j- they never use the pointy hat, ever. She tells them no. about it, and then they don't use it. Phoebe wears it when she's oh, on the broom. Oh, yeah, you're on the broom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, Well, stupid. they present it... <laughs> it is stupid. They present it as if, like, the mask is part of the, like, old-school magic getting to the roots kind of thing, mm-hmm. and then she's just like, this will help you blend into the crowd. This is just a disguise! Yeah. It's not anything magical, it's a disguise! This is just a mask, you idiot. <laughs> this isn't magic. <laughs> they, uh, they put on their masks, and they head over to this crazy party. For 1670, this is insane. Whoa. People are showing their ankles. Whoa! Yeah. And then Cole shows up, and he's like, I'm a prince myself back home. (laughs) (laughs) Baby! (laughs) Did you miss me, baby? (laughs) (laughs) I'm cool (laughs) now. Yeah, I thought it was thought it was weird when they gave him that weird half metal face <laughs> and just started like being really referential to, to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but I guess if they're going to be ripping off the Phantom Menace, anything's fair game. <laughs> this is so um, silly, though. Just him in this costume. It's like, hey, it's me, Cole. I'm like, oh, wow. Who is this mysterious man? <laughs> These are, like, let me just clarify for people who have not seen the episode or maybe not seen it in a while. These are, like, Mardi Gras masks. Like, they're, like, half masks. Yeah. They're not, they don't cover anything. No. And somehow, like, Phoebe does not recognize her boyfriend right in front of her. Yeah, like, you, you look at him and you know it's Julian McMahon right away. It's like, okay. <laughs> Who is this mysterious man? It, it, this scene is so dumb, too. Like, she, at this party, she meets up with this guy who's, like, trying to tell fortunes through apple peels. (laughs) Like, he's like, I will peel this apple, and I can show you the first letter of the name of your one true love. (laughs) Oh, okay. No one thinks this guy's a witch, by the way. He's telling (laughs) fortunes over there. (laughs) Stupid 1600s people. And, uh... (laughs) And then he puts the peel in the water, and whoa, what the fuck? It makes a C! How unlikely is it? And Phoebe's like, C is for Cole! And Cole's there, 
<laughs> Does Phoebe like me? They're the biggest idiots in the world. They're acting like the. You know what would impress me if it formed like a, a fucking G or an M yeah, or any <laughs> other letter C. besides C. <laughs> what other letter was it gonna be, dude? Yeah, like maybe an you I. Think, like, the guys like <laughs> yeah, a C, an I, or an O. Yeah. And that guy, I mean, who's to say that guy's wrong? You're not gonna say that's not my one true love. Like he'd be like, that looks kind of like an O. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, what it. it is. <laughs> That'll be one shilling, please. <laughs> You're the same guy from that wig store. Well, I gotta have a second job. <laughs> I like the part before that, too, where, like, um, they're heading to the party, and Prue's like, trick or treat, and Piper says, oh boy, and then leaps out. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Piper never returned home. <laughs> and everyone <laughs> celebrated. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Celebrate good times, come on. <laughs> I hate time travel. <laughs> Don't tell me you've time traveled again. I hate time traveling. You do. I was burnt at the stake last time, remember? Uh, Ruth runs into Phoebe. Uh, she knocks off her mask, and then everyone turns into Invasion of the Body Snatchers again. Which, which? yeah, like immediately. <laughs> Apparently, everyone just burned Phoebe's face into their mind. <gasps> That's the Phoebe one. Cut her! <laughs> well, wouldn't you? Yeah. It turned into the beginning of Phoebe's nightmares. <laughs> no. no! <laughs> Then possibly the funniest scene of the episode. They hang them on horses. <laughs> Amazing. We see their swinging corpses on the tree. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's really silly that they think they're immediately dead because they don't drop them far enough to snap their necks. So if they were hanging them from there, they should you know, be dying for being choked. But they all like, oh yeah, that, that's on the up and up. I think they immediately died from that and they all ride off like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> they all ride off, yeah. See, the thing is, I mean, they did, uh, when they were doing hangings, like, the neck didn't always break. No. And so, like, they would wait until they choked to death. Yeah. In the 1600s, they had no entertainment. They had nothing going <laughs> yeah. on. It was depressing. The best thing in their lives is if they could watch someone hang. They're like, oh man, get the popcorn. Mm. Get your apples. We're going to hang a night tonight. We're going to hang a night. Make it a get family Sophie. night. You know, yeah, yeah. Like They're like, we're, we're having a date night tonight. Ever since we had the kids, we don't get to have a good hanging time anymore. <laughs> um so they would they wouldn't just run away. They would be like watching them hang themselves, mm -hmm. like and choke to death, and be like, "Yeah, like ch chucking apples at them or whatever." <laughs> and a then, lot like, of apples presumably, chucking in this. <laughs> yeah, presumably the charmed ones would shit themselves, <laughs> and the stain would go down their their dresses, and then we'd cut to credits, and that nice guitar music would play, mm -hmm. and then the end. Yeah, and that's the which end is of how the episode, episode ends. You know? mm -hmm. What'd you think, fam? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I'm glad they ended Charm before it got stupid. <laughs> it was kind of a sad ending, but, you know, it's controversial. Yeah. And the t ending title card said they never returned home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just feel like things would have went really downhill if it kept going past this. <laughs> You know, Phelan, I thought it was really bold and raw for them to show them, like, shitting themselves. Like, you don't really often get to see that, yeah. that side of hanging. It was really good. <laughs> it was good. It was, re it was really good. <laughs> and, and there was a pregnant pause. Yeah. Use that word as many times as possible. No one's going to understand that but us. No. Anyway, uh, thank God, um, or the devil, that they're saved. <laughs> uh, Micah comes back into play. He, uh, he tied up the rope around their waist and, and sneakily did this. Somehow no one noticed that he did this yeah. so that he could come back and, and get them. Um, Prue is like, mm, making some, like, you know, goo goo eyes at him. And he says, I'm Micah. And she says, I'm charmed. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Micah. Yeah. But Phoebe has like a snide remark about this. You finally find a man. Too bad he lives in colonial Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in my column later. 
<laughs> My dumb dead sister left someone in the past. He died. So did she. Me, 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 me. This episode, did this seem like there were more wah wah jokes than normal in this one? Possibly. <laughs> All the like, I am charmed and happy Halloween trick or treat. Yeah. They have, um, after this scene, like, they go to Daryl and Leo again, and Leo's like, we need more time, mm -hmm. because he needs, like, time for his, his potion, <laughs> yeah. like, the herb. Uh -huh. it, he asks Daryl to get him the time, too. He's like, oh yeah, can you pass me that? And it's, like, within arm's reach of Leo. <laughs> <It's> like, <how? laughs> There's a giant bowl of it, too. Who put that in the bowl? Yeah, Leo had to have done it, but <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> So it was just like, Carol, can you get me that thing that I could reach myself? <laughs> Why? Yeah, he acts like like he's run out of it, but like, who put the giant? It's not like they just have a bowl of time sitting on the the counter at all times. <laughs> all times. They're trying to get at all times. <laughs> uh, 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 wah wah. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to make a, a potion to vanquish the Grimlocks who are just hanging out upstairs, having a good time. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> they're not then... going to have a good time later. <laughs> no! They must be up there watching TV or something. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's a commercial break, so they come downstairs and blind Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take your soul sucking break. <laughs> In between, I don't know, the Golden Girls. Is that what they're yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, Thank know. you for being a friend. I don't know how Blanche is going to get out of this one. <laughs> Do you even know what happens in the... Have you seen an episode of the Golden Girls? I, <laughs> I don't remember. Have you? Oh, my God. <laughs> it just made it seem like, is there, like, schemes going on? Is there high stakes? Do yeah, they rob a bank? There's pretty much there... life and death every episode, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 like, they're escaping oh no. death. Sophia's got so a bomb <laughs> to destroy the world again. We gotta stop her. <laughs> I, you know, I heard about there's a recurring uh, character of death, like he's in the, uh, William Sadler reprises yeah. his role, and he's like hanging out like um, he's their neighbor, <laughs> and he, uh, he keeps trying to trick them into like letting him touch them and kill them, but they're like, mm-mm, death, <laughs> not taking me to the other side. <laughs> you scamp, and then they go, Blanche is a whore, the end. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Speaking of uh, old bitches, um, the Charmed Ones <laughs> are, um, <laughs> I don't know why I called them old. <laughs> okay, so um, they do some sweeping around. Um, they're sweeping around mm -hmm. in this episode. It's really <laughs> uh, And uh, they grab some corn husks. They're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the sweeping somehow gets rid of these talismans. Like, this is the worst effect I think they've ever done on Charm. There's clearly, like, some stagehands hanging out above a branch on a tree, yeah. just shaking, these, <laughs> dangling these things as they add, like, a glow effect on them. Yeah, sad. <laughs> <laughs> this was, like, Garth Marenghi style effects. <laughs> So is the witch thing at the end. Holy crap. Oh my god. I know writers who use subtext and they're all cowards. Um, so the talismans fall over. They're in the clear. They run inside the house. I guess Ruth is off doing something else. I don't know what she's doing. Mm. Thank god she wasn't she's in at the time. She's downstairs they, uh... watching TV. <laughs> she's wa she is also watching the Golden Girls. Yeah, she's got the future channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's working with Cole. He hooked her up with Cable. She's set. Yeah. Um, well, Cole, meanwhile, is uh, killing Micah. <laughs> yeah. Prue's boyfriend dead. Just unceremoniously. <laughs> they act like this is going to be like a thing, like Prue and Micah, and they're maybe going to have like this sad goodbye because this romance won't work between time or something. Nah, just... <laughs> Like, no fanfare, no nothing. And then they really... He's just 
face down, ass up. Yeah, and like they don't, they just kind of don't ever mention it again. It's <laughs> like no. whatever. <laughs> he dead. Who cares? Lol. Well, no, they do. They do mention at the at the very end. There's a bit about him again, uh-huh. but they don't seem to care about the real Micah. They, no. I don't think they ever find out he died. <laughs> no, they they see that he's captured and is going to possibly die, and they're like, oh, what would he want us to do though? Let's go save the baby. He's screwed. So they kind of <laughs> assume he's going to die, but yeah, they never really comment on the fact, yeah, he's going to die, whatever. <laughs> oh, he's captured, and the day is saved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they do save a few people in this, though, so they're not like full-blown charmed ones like they are later in the series. <laughs> yeah, they do seem to care a little bit about what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Not Piper, though. Piper seems to already be checked out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was very much like future charmed ones, though. The him dying and them just being like, lol, whatever. (laughs) Another hilarious death of an innocent. Like, why doesn't Prue at least feel sad about that? She's starting this romance thing with him. This romance was nothing. Yeah, just anyway, abruptly cut off. Who cares? They take pregnant lady who is uh, very close to giving birth. Yeah. Uh, she has a pregnant out... pause before, though. <laughs> it all comes full circle. <laughs> they uh, they have to stop in the middle of the woods because she's like, baby's coming now. We got to stop now. And by now, I mean, I don't know, cut to nightfall. It, it's not that quick, I guess. Yeah. And then they're like, Piper, you deliver it. <laughs> I hate babies. I'll never have a baby. <laughs> Little shits. I always get the messy jobs. Uh-huh. Uh, they hang out next to an apple rock. Yeah. Just a rock covered in apples. And they go, we know how to tap into the magic at this time. Let's throw apples at them. Eh. Yeah, they create a, a protective circle around them and they're like throwing apples at people. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, Ruth and Cole show up, and then, like, <laughs> Cole's like Cole stops, <laughs> and he's like, uh, I'm just gonna see how this Yeah, like, wait, let's see where they're going with this. And then they throw apples, he's like, wow, they really got this thing hold tied up. I guess we lose. <laughs> and Ruth's like, well, we could try a little bit more than that. It's like, oh no, they threw some apples, I'm pretty sure it's over. <laughs> <laughs> what if he just what if he just pulls his wig off, shakes his head, and the lady's like, What the <gasps> You're not old timey at all <laughs> What the fuck? You're a present person, aren't you? <laughs> she knew he was from the present. <laughs> <laughs> no. God. She would have been so distraught to know that. But like the haircut would be a step too far as the thing. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> Can't be hanging out with these short hairs. <laughs> I'm going to retire from being an evil witch or whatever the fuck I am. <laughs> Just love how but it easily turns out- Cole gives up. <laughs> She's like, wow, apples, you know what? it's over. It's over, man. Game over. But you know what? <laughs> this This protective circle... It protects them from people coming toward them, I yeah, guess. But not so bullets. it's good for that. But not bullets. <laughs> it's useless against bullets. They can just shoot into the circle. <laughs> this is the most useless thing they could have in this situation. Yeah, stupid apples. <laughs> <laughs> apples to apples, dust to dust. <laughs> Uh, Phoebe decides she's going to distract all of these people <laughs> by, uh, by, a show by riding of around. Stupidity. <laughs> yeah, she takes her top off, runs naked. <laughs> she goes, "Get all out of these jugs!" <laughs> and they're like, "What the fuck?" Phoebe is Lady Godiva. Boom, boom. Oh my! <laughs> this week on Charmed, <laughs> I slept with a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Charmed, we're disgusting and shallow. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Sex in the city. <laughs> oh. Puns. I'm gonna give it my breast. Boom. Boom. Well, that is just turning into UPN. Yeah. <laughs> it, there's okay, there's so Phoebe... no difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they became the same thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Phoebe rides around on a broom, puts on her witch's hat, laughs evilly. Um, we get a foreshadow into what she eventually becomes. <laughs> <laughs> they, 
They just do like the ending of uh, Practical Magic, don't they? Don't they ride around on brooms at the end of that movie? <laughs> If Phoebe, By the moon. If Phoebe had had her column at this point, she would have had a banner behind the broom flying. <laughs> like, ask Phoebe! <laughs> and then askphoebe.com. Yeah. <laughs> you can log on now to askphoebe.com. Ask Phoebe what she thinks of your love life. <laughs> and then Piper shoots her down. <laughs> she goes down like the, the Hindenburg. <laughs> it's Phoebe <laughs> hunting season. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe hunting season. Piper hunting season. Phoebe hunting season. Piper hunting season. Cole's like, well, I didn't expect them to go that far with the Looney Tunes references. Game over, man. I guess we lose. <laughs> he throws an apple at them and they explode credits. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to win. Uh, well, I'm still going to call this one a loss. I know I killed them, but I don't feel good about this victory. So <laughs> putting that in the L column. What? Why? We won? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Takes off his wig, shakes his head. Uh, <laughs> this was all useless. Stupid. Stupid, man. Stupid. <laughs> I didn't expect the show to get such a defeatist attitude at the end, but they really just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe on the screen screen. Ugh. Green screen extravaganza. The the magic of of Hollywood effects. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Just it's almost awful. like it's almost their grandma throwing them out the door level green screen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Especially, like, She's when she flies around. in front of the moon. And then they do, like, a bunch of close-ups to a Phoebe supposedly flying, but she's clearly not moving at all. She's like... <laughs> did, did they even add, like, a wind machine or no. anything to kind of pretend she's up in the No, air? nothing's moving in the close-ups. Like, when she's moving around on the green screen, like, it's there's some movement on it. But, like, in the close-ups, there's just nothing. <laughs> They could have added, like, you know, some fog, like she's in the clouds mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, they could have done anything. <laughs> and Cole's just watching. He's like, oh, I can't compete with those effects. We lose, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. Everyone runs away, and then he jumps in a hole yeah. and goes, bye! Back, back to the sewers! <laughs> Do, yeah, he just jumps into the sewer, yeah. and then, like, the evil witch lady's just standing there like, What? <laughs> Shall we lose? What the fuck was any of this? Why does it team up with this future idiot? He's so defeatist. Wait, to what end did I do this? <laughs> I what did I gain from this? I don't know. It was a big waste of time. Cowabunga! Or should I say Colabunga? <laughs> uh. Wait, so what, how does this fit into, like, witches during their first, like, 48 hours can decide if they're good or evil? Is that she just had to wait for the baby to be born and then offer it candy or something <laughs> and tempt it to evil? And yeah. it would have been her plan would have been fine. Yeah. One baby Ruth and that baby, <laughs> that baby is with Ruth. Yeah. Oh, it all that's, comes that's, together. You know, mm -hmm, that's what baby Ruths are named after. <laughs> People don't know that. Yeah. Well, there's a big twist about the baby. They've saved it. Oh, the baby's born, by the way, sometime. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the baby's born sometime, by the way, uh, between, uh, you know, when they save the woman and, and the end. And uh, and she goes, it's Elizabeth baby. Warren. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my God, I'm voting for her. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, at least it was, at least it wasn't Trump. <laughs> they find the Trump baby, and they're like, well, that's the moral question. If you, if if you went back in time and you met Hitler before Hitler was Hitler, mm. then would you, would you do anything and then about the it? The baby turns into a pumpkin anyway. <laughs> and they carve jack o' lanterns. It's great. <laughs> Uh, the baby is Melinda Warren, their ancestor. What? <laughs> That's exactly what they sound like. They put on deep voices and they go, What? <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> 
Just at this time, speaking of effects extravaganzas, yeah. <laughs> a vortex appears. Yeah. Like, and then they all just walk over to it while pretending it's pulling them. They're like, ah! And then... Yeah, they just kind of lean to the side and sidle over. <laughs> yeah. And then it turns into a crappy, stretchy effect pulling them in. <laughs> They're sucked in like Freddy Krueger sucking up a building into his yeah. mouth. <laughs> I mean, it, it must have been pretty easy for the girls to pretend they suck, though, huh? <laughs> what if I just called this podcast Suck? Yeah. N- suck it. Suck it. <laughs> Put your suck it in your suck it in your suck it! Yeah. <laughs> It's my new Charmed podcast. It's called Suck It. It's really going to take off. <laughs> Leo uh, melts a Grimlock, and then just uh, as he's about to be defeated by the other one, one of them is his limit, mm-hmm. uh, Prue comes in and zaps the other one with some uh, some potion left over, left <laughs> with some potion left over on the carpet. Yeah. Some carpet slime. Yeah, and that's on them. Double killed, I guess, which is worse than... One death, you, you double die, you mm-hmm. you extra dead. Well, we know the fate that's worse than death. Um, they're they're forced to go into the charmed one's living room and then live with doppelgangers of them forever. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, see you next Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, <laughs> kids! They look straight at the camera and then like a pumpkin circle encircles them and then <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin wipe. <laughs> Like, then, like, Daryl comes stumbling down the stairs because he got blinded. And it's like, mm-hmm. why didn't Leo heal that earlier? <laughs> this is a super weird moment. This goes into, like, the, like, Leo and Daryl have more chemistry than, than Leo has with Piper. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird romantic moment, right? Mm-hmm. Like, did you get romance vibes from this? Yeah, it did seem slightly romantic. Like, Leo lovingly takes Daryl's hands, like, very gently. Mm-hmm. And there's there's no reason he needs to hold his hands in this moment. <laughs> yeah. He takes his hands and then heals his eyes. And he's like, look, you know, like, open your eyes. And he looks at him. Yeah. And they're, like, super close. And then, he's, and then he says very romantically, happy Halloween. Yeah. And then Daryl <laughs> says, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Happy Halloween. Do you know what they say? Love is blind. <laughs> <laughs> and then they kissed. Yeah. And I thought, you know, that was really romantic, but they don't call any attention to this. It was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> they uh they go to P3 to have their party. Daryl doesn't join them. He is completely traumatized by events. <laughs> <laughs> Thus begins his road to hating them. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this, yeah, this was the start of him don't want to know him. Yeah, they kind of, like, shrug this off. Like, they're like, eh, you know, I I don't think Daryl wants to be part of this. (laughs) (laughs) They wonder, um, who was helping Ruth in the past? Who could this mysterious man have been? And then they see Santa. (laughs) (laughs) Like, oh, it makes sense. He hates Halloween almost as much as Ruth did. You're working with the Easter Bunny, aren't you? I did love oh, oh, There oh. really is a Santa at this P3 Halloween party. Which is... Who dresses up as Santa for Halloween? <laughs> this is so strange. It's like they raided the costume department and they just, that's all they had was like just everything. And one of them was Santa. Mm. And for some reason, they put him prominently behind the, the main characters in a scene. <laughs> My friend Tom. He just keeps going over to the band and like requesting Christmas songs. And they're like, oh, Santa. <laughs> My friend Thomas did dress up as Santa for Halloween once. Did he? Yeah. Why? <laughs> as a joke. The fuck? <laughs> Tell Thomas that was stupid. <laughs> and I hate that he did that. <laughs> Oh, twist upon twists, they meet Micah again, but it is not Micah, it is his descendant, Mitch. Mm-hmm. So that may, that would imply that he, that, 
Wait, so wait, okay, I just realized this. This implies he already that had a baby. Micah had a baby, yeah. either illegitimately or he was married, and he was fucking cheating, yeah. flirting with Prue. Mm-hmm. Micah was a scumbag. Yep. A real son he of a bitch. He deserved what he got. Stupid Micah. Stupid Micah. Yeah. You don't want to get with Mitch, though. Yeah. Mitch is with, you know, eating burgers. And he's like, no, Hobie's with his mother. We can do it. We can party all night, Prue. <laughs> That's what Micah was doing. Uh, Hobie's with his mother. It's fine. <laughs> we can get together. <laughs> You know, like his uh, his old timey time, his <laughs> old timey girlfriend wife was uh, they were divorced and she wore very boxy shirts, yeah. uh, suits. And then uh, she was in Ohio at the time. So it's fine. Do you think Mitch survived the entire party? Probably like, got killed and then proves like, oh, well, well, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> He's face down and they just step on him and walk out. <laughs> Kick him. Wolf. <laughs> we'll call the janitor. <laughs> Clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> um the ending to the episode is so man angelic they are yeah angelic <laughs> they are right in the heyday of their buffy ripoff days like this could not be more derivative of what they're doing with like the angel buffy thing mm-hmm. down to like them hanging out like at the the very end at a party and like dancing together or whatever like they just do that but it's so stupid. And nothing punctuates this more that they're ripping off the angel thing mm-hmm. than having Cole dressed up as an angel yeah. when he comes in. Yeah. And then, like, he walks down in his angel costume. like, hey, uh, Phoebe, d- do you ever do, like, a, a time travel stuff? Oh, she's that stupid. Stupid. Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean... Apple peels. Oh, damn it. Duh. We should bring that up. Stupid. Duh. Duh. And then he shits himself and then it's the credits. <laughs> Phelan, what did you think of this episode? Uh, very amusing. <laughs> Not for most of the reasons they had intended. <laughs> this was, um, this was still during the amusing seasons where like you could there were moments where you could like genuinely enjoy it as a show and when it was stupid it you could just laugh at it and have fun anyway Mm -hmm. like i enjoyed this episode i think this is the most fun that i've had watching one of these since we started doing the rewinds yeah i think the wrestling one was really fun but i think this one edges it out yeah i think so far we've had uh more fun with ones where prue is involved (laughs) because <laughs> they're less insufferable <laughs> yeah. back then you know yeah the show really gets a stinky tone later. <laughs> uh, stinky stinky uh yeah everything in this episode super funny the wigs were really funny the bad uh period piece elements to it yeah. uh the wipes mm-hmm. the spooky halloween flavor i did enjoy that mm-hmm. so yeah that's uh I, I recommend people check this one out. Maybe if they want to see like just a dumb Halloween thing, and maybe they're not into Charmed, but they want something to watch. This might be something to check out. Yeah, you want something really doofy. All right, well, that's it for Charmed Rewind uh, for this week. Uh, next time we're going to be getting into the the new Charmed. We're going to be starting that. Uh, that's no! uh, October eleventh. <laughs> It's October 11. It'll probably be like a day or so after the episodes air that we'll be uh, putting these things together. Uh, but um, I am I don't know if I'm looking forward to, to watching it now, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how season two goes. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if we'll be doing any Charmed Rewinds while we're doing it because it's going to be like, you know, three or four a month. And we want to make sure that we give uh, Peter a break. We are going to be if charmed some... out. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if there's some mid-season breaks we might throw one in there but uh otherwise that's what we're going to be focusing on uh so if you guys uh want to check out uh any of our other stuff early uh there's patreon patreon.com slash movie nights how about how about you plug your patreon Phelan? <laughs> patreon.com slash <laughs> But but just pledge to mine, not his. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you want to listen to the podcast, uh, Anchor.fm will have the links for that. Um, 
you can find it on quite a bit of platforms now. I'd appreciate it if you could give us some good ratings or uh, subscribe on YouTube or uh, some thumbs up. I guess if you're just listening to this uh, in audio form, if you could go to the YouTube page, YouTube slash Movie Nights, the series, I gotta plug everything! Mm -hmm. Uh, that'd be great. What are some hashtags that, that we should do? Hashtag Cole now. <laughs> Cole now? Oh, like Kano. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, hashtag wigging out. <laughs> hashtag apples to apples, dust to dust. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you to Peter Hunter for editing the stuff for us. And I think that's about everything we need to cover right now. Uh, what is, what is, what is Peter's, uh, Twitter? I should, I should plug his Twitter for him. At Pretor, P-R-E-T-O-R, Hunter. There you go. That's how you find him. <laughs> and that's it. So, we'll see you Charmanders next time. Have a have happy, happy Halloween. Halloween! We'll probably we'll have one on the way, whatever. Doogie, doogie, doogie.